Hey guys, welcome to Mail Monday, a weekly series that's not so much about the gameplay, but instead is about your questions and my answers to them. Here we go. Acne holding me back. Dear Woody, I'm 16, turning 17 in March. I've lived most of my young life with acne. I feel like it's really preventing me from keeping my confidence high and not letting me step up my game. Do you or your wife know any methods of removing acne? I want to graduate in 2014 with at least an 85% clear face. This doesn't have to be on Mail Monday. It simply reply would be appreciated. Love your videos. Watch them every day. Well, thank you. All right, I really like this question. I get that it's not life or death. I mean, we're talking about pimples here. What's the big deal? But just the same, you don't have to live with pimples and they really can make your school experience rougher than it needs to be, right? If you have too many pimples, if you're outside the whatever the norm is at your school, then it lowers your attractiveness, your one to 10 scale by a point or a point and a half or so. And why have to cope with that? So here are Woody's tips for dealing with pimples. And I've got a couple of them. One clean pillow, right? You need a clean pillowcase. If you think about how dirty your pillowcase can be from sleeping on it every night, let's say you have acne already. Now you're like leaking pus into the thing. You've got your skin oils and then you put your face on that all night and hope that it stays clean and not infected. No, dude, you need a clean pillowcase. Now, if for some reason that maybe you're not in control of your own bed linen changing schedule or that's a problem with you, there is usually another solution and it's put a towel on your pillow. Right. If you put a towel on your pillow, you get the effect of a super clean pillow. It can be fresh every day. You can flip the towel the next day and get a clean side then. Now, maybe you can fold it in such a way that you get four days out of a towel. And with something like that, usually houses have their towel laundering schedule down. And, and uh, with that, you can have a clean pillow every night. That's step one. Step two, your hair. Now, I know Woody and his hair, whatever. But seriously, if your hairstyle is such that it's touching your face a lot, you're likely to get pimples where it touches your face. And this is a preventable thing. Find some other style that works for you. If you've got some sort of um, whatever that girl's name was from The Incredibles, remember that old cartoon Pixar flick, uh, you know, where the hair dangled over her face and touched it constantly. If that's the style that you're rocking, if you're doing some emo flippy hair and your forehead has pimples all over it, well, that's why, dude, you know, uh, you know, rock something different, something that works for you, uh, a cleaner look, I don't know. But um, if your hair is touching your face and you have a pimple problem, then you know, solve it, <laughs> change it, and you'll be in much better shape. So, um, so that's two, clean pillow, hairstyle. Third thing I wanted to talk about, almost always the worst thing that you can do about a pimple is to attack it with your fingers. And I get it, it's like addictive, especially for kids, um, and you think that it's like the first step to curing it, poof, all the white gook is popped out, now it's going to get better. No, dude, no, 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 no. Almost always the worst thing you can do to a pimple is to attack it with your fingertips and your fingernails and etc. You've changed what was previously like a little infection site to a wounded infection site. That's the alteration you made. But you need an alternative, right? Because you don't just want to have like big white heads walking around at school, etc. Here's your alternative to attacking pimples with your fingers. Take a washcloth and put hot water on it. Not warm water, hot water, right? Turn the faucet on hot and do not turn the cold on whatsoever, right? So now you have, you know, really warm water, as warm as you can take it, on a washcloth or a paper towel or whatever those brown paper towel things in public restrooms are called. Any of these things will work. Take those, super hot water, and wipe your face with it. If you do that, it opens the pores, it sets up the healing, the little white head that you're trying to eradicate in the first place becomes gone, and it has the same effect as attacking it with your fingernails, but it's not as destructive. It just sort of, you know, removes the white head and you're good to go. So um, that is my, you know, <laughs> pimple 101 thing. Oh, and by the way, if these little steps aren't working, you know, washing your face, washing your pillow, cutting your hair, um, no longer attacking it with your fingernails. If that's not getting it done after like, I'll say not too long, right? If you go 10 days, two weeks, and you're not noticing a substantial improvement on your face or you know, wherever your pimple problem area is, go to a doctor. You know, this is a problem that medicine has cured and you don't need to be so shy about it or just accepting of it that you have to freaking live with this trouble all the time, right? Tell your mom, 
Mom, look, the pimple thing's not working out for me. I, I, I'm getting hazed at school about it. I'm not, I'm not getting the girls I want. Can we see a doctor? And she'll probably say yes. And then you'll go, they'll prescribe you a couple different things. Sometimes they just give you like a regular antibiotic and that's okay. Um, but what you really want is like the Accutane stuff. And don't take medical, medical advice from me, but Accutane is magic. And if they prescribe that to you, you know, most people are fixed, you know, within the first course, you know, seven days or so. And you're, uh, you're dramatically different than you were before. So do something about it. Don't just live with the notion that all teenagers have pimple problems. They don't have to so that's how you fix it ugly penis hey Woody I came to you with this because I'm 16 and I needed advice from the Almighty <laughs> my member if you will is not undersize I'm a proud six and a quarter inch but I think it's kind of ugly it's a little pink and it makes me nervous to ask out girls because of what they might think I don't want to say I'm popular but I like to think that people like me and finding a girl isn't the most difficult thing in the world anyways what should I do is it normal Please respond in mail Mondays or PM, whatever works. This is a problem people have, really? Like, here's my thought process as I read this. I have seen beautiful eyes, right? The, the, the majesty in them. I have seen beautiful chests, guys, girls. That, that makes me sound gay, but whatever. You know, I, I can see the majesty in them. Uh, you know, a flat tummy or... There's a lot of things about humans that I find really attractive. But penises and vaginas, I always thought were a little more functional than, like, you know beautiful <laughs> maybe that's just me maybe other people are finding these to be really really attractive uh, you know, pieces of human anatomy make your own call but I would say that by and large that uh, this is not going to be a problem that, that whoever you're with is gonna just be you know down for it and consider it more functional than beautiful just like I do so uh, don't worry about it and I think that you can set the tone on this like so many problems right you know do you have a hair lift do you have this or do you, you know, is there something about you that's not actually perfect well you know just set the tone be be proud and you know then no one else will think it's a big deal either Quick question about managing money. Hey Woody, I have a quick question. How difficult is it to pay bills? I'm 15 and I tend to get overwhelmed easily when it comes to managing money. I feel nervous about when I have my own home because I'm not sure if I could manage to pay my bills properly. Please give me any advice you could. Thanks for reading. So I read this and I wasn't sure what he was getting at. Like uh, on one hand, um, paying the bills, the act of like going online and using bill pay and just sending cash to people is really straightforward. If you've ever had PayPal, then it, it's just like that. You, your bank account, you, you sort of set up your vendors, and then boom, you know, shoot this guy this much, that guy that much. I usually let a couple bills, like three or four, you know, combine, and then I just knock them all out in five minutes and we're good to go. That part of paying bills is not such a big deal. The other part of paying bills, the earning the money to, you know, to supply the bank account in the first place to say no to yourself so that you have um you know the, the discipline so you, to tell yourself no so that you have enough money to pay the bills that is one of the hardest parts of being a grown-up it, it's extremely challenging and um you know it, it, some months it's harder than others some years it's harder than others but the basic notion that you know you need to track your money you need to stay within your income level you need to supply all the things that your you and your family needs while you know through your job that is really hard and it's one of the most stressful things that that parents go through and that grown-ups go through it's it's a one of the reasons that people get divorced it, it's probably the number one thing that couples fight over it's uh it's a challenge but, you know, it's also one that just about every adult manages to figure out at some point in their life. Hey Woody, I love your videos. Keep up the great content. So I was playing Modern Warfare 3, and I got a little angry as I died one off an Osprey Gunner. I punched a hole in the bedroom wall with my palm. And there is this 10 by 8 centimeter hole in the wall. That's a good size. And I currently have a poster covering it, but it can't be hidden forever. Should I just tell my parents, try to rearrange my room so it's completely covered, or try to get my friend's dad, the plasterer, to help me fix it? Please get back to me. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I may just let them know then, as it would presumably have them in an upbeat mood. I'm about to turn 14 years old. I'm really worried. Thank you. Keep up the great work. 
All right, <laughs> so by and large, when you have bad news, it doesn't get better with age. This is something that I try to teach my kids. That, that, you know, if you have a bad grade on a test, if you have a bad report card, sitting on it and letting the news get old doesn't usually make it better for anybody. You know, your parents will just be more mad when they finally find out. Having said that, this isn't one of those big problems, and I think you may have done something smart there in the way that you kind of timed it for a day where you know, they don't want to blow up at you. So I would tell them on your birthday. I would do that. They'll probably be mad, but whatevs. It's a hole in the wall, and you know they can fix it at their own pace. It's not as if the house is deteriorating and getting worse every day, and it's totally a solvable problem. You know, you you plaster the wall, you paint it, and it's as good as new. It's. You know, <laughs> I want to be like, oh my god, you stupid rager. But the truth is, there was a time when I was playing you know, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I was playing um, Zelda. And uh, something went wrong with me, and I put my foot through a wall. Like, just my heel. Like, not my entire foot. But I kind of kicked it with my heel, and I put a hole in my brother's bedroom wall. And, uh, yeah, so I, just as much as I'd like to fuss at you for being so silly, I've been right there with you, man. So, um... I would tell him, I would tell him, but by and large, keep in mind that bad news gets worse with age, and you shouldn't be uh, sitting on secrets like that going forward. All right, if you like the video, be sure to click like. Always appreciate it. If you're new around here, you can subscribe with that blue box in the top right. Two you may have missed. The left one's especially good. It's how to tell if Ghost is actually working for you. You know, it has that new movement-based thing. And it's a short video, but I think that you'll like it. And on the right, uh, this is the follow-up, the Team Gamer Tag Can Help thing. I talked to the guy that we donated, we gave the money to, and you can hear his appreciation. They're both good videos. They open a new windows. Uh, yeah, I feel good about the videos I've put up lately. Anyway, I'll stop. Have a good day.